All right, so flow meters deliver oxygen, and they actually connect into a 50 PSI hookup in the wall. In most hospitals, they have compressed gas. Um, this is a standard flow meter. This back piece hooks up. This is called a Chemtron hookup. Not, it's just more of a technical term for it, but I'll kind of show you how it works a little bit. Uh, also, another piece you might see, which goes on the bottom as an oxygen adapter, uh, often referred to as a Christmas tree, because obviously it looks like a Christmas tree. This screws onto this piece on the flow meter, and then your oxygen device would attach to the Christmas tree. It's just pushed on like this. Now we're going to show you how it connects into the wall. So we're going to show how the flow meter connects into the wall. Uh, this is a pressurized gas system, so this thing can kind of pop out if it's not done properly. It's not like it's going to shoot all the way across the room. It'll just kind of flop off onto the ground. But anyway, it goes in this direction. There's two holes here, large hole and a small hole. The top one is actually the oxygen outlet. It's going to go through here. And the bottom one is actually the latch. As you can see, this little latch piece right here that allows us to go in and stay in. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you the pressure that's inside the wall. So by pushing a pin in here, don't do this at home. Respiratory therapist only. So that's the pressurized air, 50 PSI that comes out. What this is is going to press against that and it's going to deliver it into the flow meter. Insert it in, just push it with firmly into the wall. At this time, we're, we don't really know if it's delivering oxygen also, we'll turn the knob. Most of the knobs say on and off. So, um, counterclockwise rotation of it opens the valve and you can see now that we're delivering oxygen. This standard flow meter is from one liter to 15 liters. If it goes all the way to the top, which is very loud, you can hear that, you open it up all the way, we call that flush. And that's usually up to 40 liters. We don't do that very often. Usually with our oxygen devices, it's anywhere from one to 15 liters. How do you measure it? Well, there's a ball inside of it. And this ball, measure by the center of the ball and it'll be on the specific line for the liter flow. Now these are technically called, and this is a, a Jeopardy term, but compensated Thorpe tubes. Now how do I know that? Because if I include this right here, see the ball fell. This is really great if your patient's on nasal cannula and let's say the wheelchair rolls, up, rolls over the, the cannula. When it stops flow to the patient, you see no flow on here anymore. Okay. So if you see that this ball is where it should be, that means you know that the oxygen is coming out of here appropriately and getting to the distal aspect of the cannula. So just one way to kind of test that. You can go anywhere up or anywhere, any place down. Now, often you'll find... Or these, you might have a flow meter in a room, patient just moved in, and there's no Christmas tree attached. I'm going to show you one real quick kind of uh, extra note about this area of the flow meter. So if you're in an emergent situation, and let's say the respiratory therapist or somebody took this piece off the flow meter, and you need to ventilate this patient right now, almost all emergency uh, resuscitative devices have a different end on the, on the end of the oxygen tube. And you see it's larger. Um, has some like threads on it. What it can actually do is in this case it actually pushes up over that so that we can deliver oxygen to our bag valve mask. So in an emergency you don't have to have somebody run down the hallway to try to hunt down a Christmas tree right here. You can actually go right over top of the threads. Just press it forcefully and that's how it will go. Or if the Christmas tree is on there you can use the same way like that and then deliver it. Now taking it out is what everybody's a little bit kind of freaked out about. It's not a big deal. In this case I'm pushing the button on the top and it kind of pops out. Let me show you what it looks like if I don't grab a hold of the flow meter. You'll notice a lot of people will grab it. They'll put gentle pressure in, push this, and then pull it out. Of course I've been doing it for a while so it's easy. But if I'm just going to push this you're going to watch. It didn't pop out but sometimes they pop out and fall on the ground. So you don't want to just, there we go, it pops out and kind of falls on the ground. So the key to doing it is having it in, pushing this down, and just pulling it out. It doesn't come out with really any force at all. But you do have to control it. Um, oxygen, air, and medical uh, vacuum 
Of course, the the oxygen flow meters will not go in the air side, and they definitely shouldn't. If it's green, it's oxygen. So make sure you don't put it in medical air. If we went medical air, deliver to the patient, we're not going to deliver any FiO2, so that's a problem. So make sure that you're delivering from the oxygen side, and it's always denoted as being green.